So, for those not in the know, there have been uh, two clips that have been released, I guess officially, by, uh, even if it wasn't official, they're all over the internet now, uh, uh, for the fifth Stephen Bomb, which has not been, you know, the, Ste the, new, the fifth Stephen Bomb hasn't been um, announced yet, but apparently, from what I understand, it's sometime in March. Not an exact date, but uh, somewhere in March, I believe. So, let's talk about that. Now, the two, I'm just going to go through the two clips because I really wanted to just talk about how awesome they were and also just kind of a few theories I wanted to throw out there. So, um, let's k kick off with the first one, which is, I shit you not, Malachite versus Alexandrite. Yeah, <laughs> Garnet, Pearl, and Amethyst all fused together, and we finally get to see what Alexandrite's capable of, as well as Malachite. Now, the big thing with Malachite is that, of course, the last time we saw her, Lapis more or less just f permanent, or tried to permanently fuse with Jasper to keep, her, you know, keep Steven safe. It also looks like Jasper's become the dominant personality in this fight. Now, keep in mind, even though it does kind of spoil some things, it does leave, these episodes do leave enough open for, you know, interpretation. And the episode where Alexandrite and Malachite fight is called Super Watermelon Island. That's right, we get the return of the watermelons that were seen, uh, that Steven created, the Steven Watermelons. And in here, we follow, uh... What was I going to say? We uh, we do see the, the melons again. I'll get to them in a minute. But yeah, we see what the what the uh, the fu the Alexandrite fusion is capable of, and I didn't expect this. But oh my god, it can use all the fusion weapons from the other from Opal, Sugalite, and Sardonyx. I thought that was so cool. Like that makes sense. That you know a f you know a fusion of all three of them would use the fusion weapons of the other fusions. I just said fusions like three times in a sentence. <laughs> Sorry, I was getting something to drink. But yeah, I thought that was such a cool idea, such a cool and clever idea. And the fighting in there between Malachite and Alexandrite is so fluid. It's so amazing. Uh, it makes it actually like the mo the first time I watched it, I was literally like, I would love to see Godzilla and Alexandrite fight. That would be awesome. Or the the Dragon Zord. <laughs> or is that kind of funny? Because I was watching the fight go on. And I was li I literally said out loud, "We need Megazord power now." <laughs> uh, I'm just kind of imagining when you know all, you know when Garnet, Amethyst, and Pearl. Uh, fuse again, like, I really want to, I'm really hoping someone, like, when they do the fusion to Alexandrite again to fight Al Malachite, they can do the, uh, uh, Power Rangers theme when they're fusing, and make it like, it like, Megazord, uh, 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 Megazord sequence engaged. <laughs> anyway, so, again, getting back to Malachite real quick, I think it's really, I think it's interesting that we have Malachite back in here, and again, it looks like Jasper is the dominant persona, because, you know, poor Lapis has been locked in there for months, apparently, and, yeah, you can only, you know, someone can only, ha you know, deal with that kind of power, you know, that kind of physical stress and mental stress for so long before they snap. So, I guess Jasper's the person, dominant personality, and I say that because... <clears throat> during the fight between... <coughs> excuse me. During the fight between Malachite and Alexandrite, uh, Malachite says that, you know, this fusion stuff wasn't just a cheap trick, and now there will be room for only one abomination on this planet. So it literally does feel like Jasper's become the dominant persona. But getting back to the melons, we do see the melons again, and it, yeah, they're having kids now, which is weird, because aren't they all based off of Steven? I mean, I know the watermelons are probably genderless, but, huh, some of them are having kids, and it's weird. And they also, for, for no reason, for, for however they did it, they actually joined together, they rally to help Alexandrite fight Malachite, and they gather up their weapons... Uh, they gather up weapons which just come out of nowhere, like, they have catapults and spears and bows and arrows, like, where did you come up with this? <laughs> so quickly, too, did you already have that on standby, or what? what's the story here, guys? <laughs> but yeah, um, the other thing, I know a lot of people are like, well, how did Alexandrite lose to Malachite, you know? 
Because it, for it's a little touch. If it weren't for those, you know, the melons to distract Malachite long enough to give Alexandrite an edge, uh, it does make you want. It does. I know some people have kind of commented on. Well, how did Malachite get the drop on three gem? Well, technically six gems against two. It was a. It's technically a six on two match, and I have an explanation. I probably have a good. Ex I'm. I have a good theory as to why I, I think Alexandrite may have lost this fight had it not been for the Stephen Mellon stepping in and distracting Malachite. I think it's because they're fighting on an island. An island is surrounded by water, which, yeah, Lapis can control, and apparently Malachite can too. So, yeah, she's kind of fighting in her, in her element. Plus, you have, uh, it's clearly shown that Alexandrite isn't exactly the most stable of fusions. You've got six voices going off in your head. I'm pretty sure you can't, uh, it's really hard to keep that form, and it's only used for extreme situations. Case in point, Malachite. Which then again, you kind of wonder, because again, we haven't seen this episode in its full yet. Maybe they tried to fight Malachite with just Sugalite, and then, uh, Pearl jumped in with the fusion, and they all, and it became Alexandrite. Uh, so maybe they did use uh, Sugalat first, and then moved on to Alexandrite uh, to give them an extra boost. So could have been that. The other question is, where are Steven and P and Peridot? Where are Steven and Peridot in this whole episode? It, uh, well, at least in this clip, I'm sure they're in the episode, but I'm wondering where they are on the island. Are they back at? Uh, they could be anywhere, really. Now, so with that all taken care of, let's move on to the second part of this episode. The second part being, it focuses on Peridot, Steven, and Lapis. Yes, Lapis is back there, but Lapis, you can clearly tell on her face, she has been through some shit. And I can understand that because, well, like I said, she's been, you know, locked up for months in another with another person in her head. Someone who's a jackass, for the, for the lack of a better word. And from there... Lapis looks like she's going to be like the team's... She may be the team's Raphael for a little bit. She may be that, it, you know, similar how we all kind of figured Peridot would be like the team's Vegeta, but now she's become the team Zim. No, really, she's... she's Like, at first, we all thought she'd go through, like, a Vegeta-esque... She kind of did. Admittedly, she kind of went through a Vegeta-esque redemption arc. But... Um, she, but she eventually, we all figured, yeah, she's she's Zim, she's just a she's just a she's just Zim. So if anything, I think we, you know, Lapis may have become that kind of Wolverine or Raphael type character, because you can clearly tell that she is <laughs> she's become a lot darker. And uh, there is a minor clip of the episode Barnmates. That's the episode in here. Excuse me, where uh, Peridot tries to make a like a gift for her, and I guess it didn't work, so Par it, it, you kind of get the you kind of get the sense in this episode that Lapis drove off Peridot, but then something comes in, it's supposed to be like a, like a, like a scouting, I can't remember what the name of it is, but it's like a scouting droid, and it's hunting for Peridot, because apparently, yeah, you don't get to say, you don't get call, you don't get to call Yellow Diamond a, a clod and get away with it, so they... So they sent, I guess they sent a drone down to hunt her down. But then Lapis shows off of how much of a beast she is. She literally, like, just two hits this creature like it's nothing. Like, get that shit out of here. So, yeah, we, I guess, like, I, I just love, would love to see Katara just look, like, if Katara from Avatar was watching this and be like, shit, she's good. <laughs> Yeah, so... Another thing I noticed that uh, Lapis doesn't have her wings, so is her gem cracked again? Is she, you know, is it based on emotion where she can feel happiness, or does she have to summon the wings to her? Um, big question right there. Also, it looks like, it, you know, we may get some Lapidot. <laughs> Yay. Um, <laughs> I didn't mean to make that sound unenthusiastic. I'd be okay with that. And I actually, like, think it's pretty interesting because... Um, Someone brought up this really interesting theory going back to log date, and in log date, the when uh, when Peridot is is uh, watching Camp Pining Hearts, uh, you see the female character uh, Paulette, and she has this uh, sc blue scarf around her neck with Lapis's gem all over it. And then if you look at uh, 
uh, Percy, you look at Percy and he's got this yellow diamond similar to what Peridot has. Hmm. You trying to say something here, Rebecca? You, you trying to... You, uh... Foreshadowing? Hmm? You, uh, putting two characters together? Hmm? I, I can't do that. I, <laughs> I can't make my voice go that high. But yeah, it, it, maybe there was just a so a, another soft jibe at the fans. Um, or maybe it, it, it's a hint at Lapidot. I don't know. I just thought I'd bring that up in this little video. <clears throat> oh, I'm so stopped up. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Let's get back to the video. But yeah, the big question is, where the hell is Jasper? Is she locked up, I hope? Or are they going to try to do a... Or she managed to go back to Yellow Diamond, crawl, you know, crawl back to her, and... You know, even though we get a lot from these two clips, there's still, like, a hundred different questions out there. And there's, like, it's, uh, a whole week. Like, those are only two episodes. There's still three others, guys, that we haven't seen yet. So I'm really excited for the fifth Steven Bomb whenever it drops. So, yeah. Hopefully I'll be able to re review this uh, separately instead of, you know, one big ep. You know, one big review. Anyway, so you guys tell me, what did you got, What do you guys think of the two Steven Bomb clips we have seen so far? Do you guys like them? Do you guys hate them? What do you think of the Malachite and Alexandrite fight? How do you think that started? And what do you think the future of Lapis Lazuli is going to be like? Just comment below, let me know, and once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later.